Hey y'all, welcome back. And today I'm sharing my updated natural hair care regimen with a twist. Juju B taught me everything that I know in this video. And so this has been a long awaited video as far as sharing my new natural hair care regimen as of five years. So let's get started. So I started out just literally typing in what I needed. So I know my hair is really dry right now and I'm trying to get rid of that. So I found her uh, dry to long and moisturized updated hair care routine. And based on this one, I stuck with her for the rest of the videos. <laughs> so I typed in deep conditioning and found another video of hers um, of a DIY deep conditioner that helps with breakage and damage, as you see. And so I used that to come up with my mixture, which we'll see later on. And then I moved on to the shingling method for crazy defined curls and literally her video said crazy defined curls <laughs> and so I followed her method for this as well and then last but not least I wanted to learn to stretch my hair without heat because I've been stretching it with heat with a blow dryer for years and so I found another video of hers, this one, and so I said, well, at this point, I'm just going to do all of her methods for my new routine. So these are all the products that I'll be using in the video. They'll be linked in the description box, and you'll see them multiple times throughout the video, so don't worry. So I started off literally just wetting my hair in the shower. I had had my hair straightened, so it was a good thing to really get it wet and get my curls popping back. And then I grabbed my Aussie... Um, shampoo that's about how much I use and I started out at the roots and literally one of the things that she said in her video was to scrub the roots but then also there's this trick of like sliding your fingers out to avoid tangling so you'll see me do it here I'm really targeting the roots and then see how I'm kind of just raking my fingers through and that helps with tangling because I don't know about you but when I shampoo my hair typically because it's already stripping my hair I get a lot of tangles during this portion of my wash and so this was so helpful it made such a huge difference it really helped me feel like I was really cleansing my hair from all the products that I had in it before I got to wash it so this was a great addition to my regimen then you want to rake that product all the way down. Make sure you're getting the ends and just cleansing the entire hair shaft and not just your roots. So start by targeting the roots, but then we're going to take that shampoo all the way down. Just make sure it's really well mixed in. Now we're going to rinse our hair, rinse all that shampoo out. Make sure you get it all so that we can move on to the next step, which is to condition. So before we get into conditioning, we're going to go ahead and section our hair. You're going to hear me say this several times throughout the video, working in sections and grab our Aussie conditioner about that much starting off. So I have that one bottom section right now that I'm dealing with and I'm literally just raking that conditioner through and finger detangling while I do it. So it looks kind of forceful here because it's sped up but I really am taking my time, um, not trying to pull any extra hair out unnecessarily. Just gently finger detangling and getting that product all the way from the root all the way down and especially focusing on the ends. And then we're going to go ahead and twist each section. It doesn't matter how big or small your twists are, it's literally just to let that conditioner sink in and to have that hair be out of the way so you know what hair you have to deal with next. So it doesn't matter how many twists you do. And then we literally just repeat that step of taking the next section, getting some conditioner on our hands, putting it on that hair, raking it through, finger detangling, twisting it up, and moving on to the next section.
assuming that you guys get the point by now, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the last section. You can tell I'm a little tired. There's definitely a lot of arm work and it's just changed my whole perspective of wash day. I've never put in this much effort ever. But I'm done. And that is how much hair. That's it that I lost. I'm so used to losing more than that. So yeah, I was super surprised. So we're going to go ahead and untwist and rinse all that conditioner out now that we're done. All right, so stepping out of the shower, I'm gonna go ahead and take my microfiber towel and just dab my hair dry. Not really dry, but just a little bit so I can work with it and make my deep conditioning uh, mixture. So I'm gonna use my Palmer's Olive Oil brand deep conditioner and add some oils to it like suggested by Juju Beat. Starting with the Organics Argan Olive Oil. Just a little bit in there and then the do grow I actually found this growth oil just in my stuff so I was like hmm sure let's add it growth is good <laughs> and then Jamaican black castor oil and because I don't have anything to mix it with I'm using one of my hair clips to mix it up and you see it's kind of a creamy consistency which is good then we're gonna go ahead and section our hair like I said you'll hear that several times in this video sectioning our hair helps us to deal with it better Then I'm going to go ahead and take this bottom section. I'm so excited that the curls are already soft and popping. Take that deep conditioning mixture and just rake it through from root to the end just like we did with the other conditioner. Making sure that it gets all the way through the hair and finger detangling as well. And you'll see it on this one. I skipped it on the last one by accident. But we're going to go ahead and actually twist that section as well when we're done. So as you can tell, I'm just repeating those steps and then I take whatever sections from that larger section and clip them away with that clip and keep it trucked into the next section. And just in case you didn't catch it the first time, I'm getting real up close and personal on this one so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Taking that product down, twisting it up and moving on. So by the time I got to this portion of my hair, I didn't have much of that mixture left as you saw. So I literally ended up having to stick my hair in the bowl there. Um, so you may need two of those Palmer's Olive Oil uh, deep conditioning packets if you have a lot of hair. My hair is not super thick, so one usually does it, but you might need two. Just something to consider. And during that entire process, that's all the hair that I lost. You guys don't understand, this is crazy for me. So now we're gonna go ahead and wrap our hair up with uh, my version of a plastic cap, <laughs> a plastic bag. Hey, you gotta work with what you got, okay? Works just as well. And I just tied that plastic bag around my head. And this step is completely optional, but I added my towel just because I know how hot it gets under the dryer. So yeah, it fastens real cute in the back too, so it works. Let's go. So this is my first time ever at home doing a dryer for my deep condition, sitting under the dryer. And I heard there's so many benefits of adding heat to your deep condition. So that's what I did. I turned it on high. And then I set my timer for 20 minutes and sat up under the dryer. These tabletop dryers are so perfect because I literally just sat in the living room and watched all my favorite YouTubers while I waited to dry. All right, we are all dry, and I'm just taking all those items off. I did sit a little longer than 20 minutes, maybe like 25, might have been 30, but yeah. So now I'm just going to take these twists down very gently, and y'all, I am tripping at this very moment because my hair was so buttery, silky, smooth, soft, every delicious word you can think of. It was that. Like, my hair felt like clouds. 
It was so bouncy, it was so light, it was so moisturized. I just couldn't believe I was already <laughs> feeling those results so soon. Like, look at how my curls are popping, you guys. Like, I played like this for like five minutes. It was crazy, so crazy. So although I could have left my hair just like that, I went ahead and rinsed it out so we could get ready to style it. And I'm just checking my roots at this point just to make sure that there's no product on the root. Make sure I got everything. I'm just gonna dry it slightly so it's not dripping wet. Again, with my microfiber towel. And then we're again, ding, 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 sectioning the hair. <laughs> and I'm starting off with four large sections, but you'll see that I will separate these sections down as I go, because on this part, you will need to work with smaller sections than the larger ones kind of that I was using throughout the rest of the video. And can we please just appreciate these moisturized, bouncy curls? Like, I haven't even put product in them yet, and they're just bouncing. So many of you might have heard of the LOC method or the lock method. That's how I'm going to apply my styling products, starting with this Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which smells amazing. I actually just bought this. I had never used it before. I've heard of it in several videos on YouTube, but never used it for myself. So it was so soft, it smelled good, and so we're starting with that product and just raking it through like we've done with the other products, root to tip. And then we're gonna go in with the Denman brush because this detangles like none other. Obviously, Fingal Detangler first, but look at that. Look what it does. I mean, you can't get that kind of a bounce with any other tool, not even your fingers. So we're gonna go in with the Denman brush and then we have our oil, which is the O in the LOC method. I'm using Africa's Best Herbal Oil, because I already had it. <laughs> then we're gonna try this gel for the C. C means cream, in this case I'm using a gel and I'm using this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Gel, which I had just bought that day. And then we're literally just gonna take strands and just pull them apart from the group to make smaller curls. And you see the definition is already starting to pop. Like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> and we're just gonna repeat those steps with each of the smaller section. You can even take a smaller section than what I did. Um, as I got towards the end, I kind of got lazy, which we'll see. And it does make an impact on the way your roots look because you really want to target the roots. That's one thing B said. Um, it really makes the look. If your roots are kind of a big afro and then you've got this defined curl, it kind of ruins the look. So you really want to target the roots all the way down. And I believe that's the gel that I'm putting in, breaking it all the way through. You can go back in with the Denman brush as many times as you need to in between the steps. Just kind of adds extra definition to your curls. And then I'm kind of also twisting it around my finger. In her video, she kind of just separated the hair, but um, I twirled around my finger kind of to do like a finger coil effect. And let's go ahead and fast forward. <laughs> and this is the last section on that side. I believe I'm already on the gel step from this point. Um, do that Denman brush, rake it through. And start separating. And this is what I mean of when I kind of started getting lazy. You see I'm missing all of that root, so it kind of looks like a little afro, and then it's got a curl. Yeah, I think I was just tired, you guys, and over it. But make sure if you do do this, to start at the root and twist down so that the curl is defined from root to tip. And here we are, officially done with that side. I'm just kind of going through and making sure each curl is defined and separated. And I took this side down so you can compare the difference. Look at that, the definition is crazy. And then these are my hands afterward and I literally have one or two strands, maybe two strands. Crazy that at the end of this, once my entire head was done, I only lost two strands of hair. You guys just don't even understand how much hair I used to lose with my regimen. It's crazy. So this is obviously working for moisture, for damage, for breakage. The bounce is crazy. <laughs> And because my edges are thinning a little bit, I went in with this edge treatment from Shea Moisture that I got at Target. It was actually on clearance. 
just to add some extra help there. And now we're gonna stretch our hair using UGB's stretch method, which is literally just making one big twist. Well, it'll be two, but right now I'm working with the one side. I split my hair in half from the back and then I'm twisting upwards toward my forehead. Not super tight, but you know, definitely stretching it. And then we're gonna make this little bun here and tie it up. And it's literally that simple. I know, I barely believed it either. And now I'm gonna do it on this side. Just twist it up and make a bun and put a hair tie on it. And I did have some leftover, but I just stuck it in. And I'm exhausted at this point, you guys. <laughs> I put a silk scarf around my edges, as always. Then I put my big bonnet, my extra large bonnet, and I'm going to bed. So it's the next morning, and fingers crossed that this comes out right. I take my scarves off, and I literally just gently allow my hair to kind of fall down. And you guys, bad news. It was soaking wet <laughs> like it almost felt like my hair had not dried at all and I really feel like that was just first time or error the curls are popping obviously you see the definition is wild which was so encouraging but literally my hair was soaking wet it was just so wet so it didn't really stretch much at all I really just feel like it was first time or error I tried to put some eco styler gel on my edges to style it and like convince myself that I was gonna wear it out like this and that it was all gonna be fine and that it looked okay yeah it just yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to try the stretch method again probably have to let my hair air dry first and then do it but yeah I just I don't think that worked for me I'm just so used to it being much longer when I blow dry it and stretch it. So this was just, the shape was off. I couldn't really shape it how I wanted to. Again, the curls are popping. Even from the back, you see the definition. But I just, I wasn't feeling it. I even gave myself some time to air dry. And yeah, you see it pretty much did not dry much and the shape is off but that's all the hair that I lost this entire time so this method obviously works overall it was crazy so I'm just going to review the products that I use this is the Aussie Total Miracle and Awesome Volume Conditioner and Shampoo the shampoo really stripped my hair I would suggest maybe a cream of nature shampoo instead but overall I enjoyed them and then this is my combination for my deep condition. The olive oil packets are like a dollar, you guys. So cheap, so inexpensive. All of this really is inexpensive and it really worked. You saw how bouncy my hair was, so I would definitely recommend this combo. And then these were the combos for styling. I loved all of these. All of the Shea Moisture products that I used were first timer, curl enhancing smoothie especially. Like it was so perfect for my hair, I loved it. And then this is that Ion tabletop dryer. I really recommend adding heat to your deep condition. It made such a huge difference. Whether it's 20 minutes or 30 minutes, just make sure you put some heat on that deep condition treatment to really see good results. So that's all I have for you guys for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Check out the description box for details and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.